Hi friends, Pathfinder's origin story has officially been released in cinematic form and we've finally got to learn the original lore for Pathfinder. You can actually watch it in full on the official Apex Legends Twitter or Instagram pages. Unfortunately, they didn't actually upload it to YouTube, so you will have to check it out on Twitter or Instagram. In this video, I'm going to break down the full cinematic and not only explain what's happening, but pick out some of the interesting things that you might have missed when you were watching it, including some interesting relatives of some people you might recognise. It starts with Pathfinder being at an awards ceremony for himself. It takes us to Olympus where the group is working on Project Iris, which is a science project to refine Barenthium into an energy source that can solve the energy crisis in the Outlands. It relates back to what Horizon was doing in her cinematic, and while Horizon did discover Barenthium, it was Project Iris that was working on how to refine it into an energy source. This is where we see Pathfinder being created to help them with the refinery process. We get to see some really interesting people including Dr. Anastasia Oliveira, or Stay, who's a mechanical engineer and you see her programming the consciousness into Pathfinder. And due to the fact that they needed Pathfinder to be intelligent enough to help them with this refinery process, they gave him a mixture of all of his creator's personalities. Here we get to see a look at some familiar faces. On the left we've got Dr. Conan Shelley, We've got Dr. Amelie Paquette, who yes, is related to Watson. She is the grandmother of Watson, in fact. We also have Newton Summers, who is Newt, Horizon's son. We've got Professor Minnie Delgado, Pathfinder himself. We've got Dr. Alecky Gibraltar, who yes, is related to Gibraltar and is in fact Gibraltar's grandfather. We also have Dr. Anastasia Stay. We've also got Dr. Ashley Reed, and you'll know Dr. Ashley Reed as the simulacrum, Ash, that we currently have in Apex running the arena mode for us. She is also the same doctor that betrayed Horizon in Horizon Cinematic. And the final one on the far side is Dr. Armin Fletcher. Now after these familiar faces, we see the story move on to them successfully refining Barenthium and essentially solving the energy crisis in the Outlands. However, shortly after this, they get ambushed by Syndicate troopers along with Ash. They are after the Barenthium to use it for themselves so they can profit from it and have control and power over the Outlands. It's also where Ash admits to killing Horizon. Next, we see Ash has captured the creators and programmed the Phase Runner to send the Branthium to Gridiron, which is where the wealthy backers of Ash are going to accept the Branthium that they can use to seize power across the Outlands. However, Pathfinder is able to sneak around and disable the Phase Runner. You see, Stay, when programming Pathfinder, included a failsafe in Pathfinder for a situation just like this, giving him the power to override system as well as a bunch of combat skills to let him take on the evil mercenaries. As you see, Pathfinder grabs what looks like an R301 and frees his creators. After stopping the Branthium going through the Phase Runner, Pathfinder gets attacked by Ash, who's holding the same sword she has in the Season 6 comics and I'm guessing if she ever comes to the game as a playable legend, this could very well be her heirloom. We see Pathfinder fight off Ash, but she ends up shooting him and sends him falling to the floor. Just as she's about to kill him, Dr. Amelie Paquette, Watson's grandmother, manages to kill Ash with her own sword. At this point, they realise another wave of soldiers is banging on the door, trying to get through and steal the Branthium. So they make the decision to reroute the Phase Runner to all of the planets across the Outlands. That includes Gai, Talos, Solus, Samathi, and many others. Here we also see Peck's name on the screen. Now Lillian Peck is a billionaire humanitarian that set up the Peck Foundation and actually funded the project. She was the godmother to Newt because she was also very close to Horizon. Oh, and by the way, in doing this, Pathfinder also initiated the self-destruct. The idea of this was to stop the soldiers getting their hands on the remaining Branthium. However, the consequence of this would mean that Pathfinder's creators would have to sacrifice themselves because they could not survive a journey through the Phase Runner as humans. Only Pathfinder could survive that journey. And with the self-destruction, this is how the rift on Olympus came about. The cinematic actually finishes with a few really cool moments. We get to see all of the legends supporting Pathfinder, and we also get to see a really funny moment between Pathfinder and Blisk, where Blisk asks if Pathfinder found the other Marvin unit. Apparently, they built another Marvin unit using Pathfinder's spare parts, and Pathfinder took this to mean that he has a child somewhere in the world. Imagine this, a baby Pathfinder, out there in the world. Anyway, that's everything that happened in the cinematic. Hopefully this fills in some of the questions you might have had when you were watching the cinematic, and gives you a good idea now 
of Pathfinder's full origin story. Don't forget to like and subscribe, thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you later.